guys, how you doing? This is Caleb Dirksen, and welcome to another reaction video. Now, today, I'm going to be doing a reaction video to um, something that is pretty strange to me when I, when I first heard about it and saw it on, uh, and saw it appearing on Twitter and YouTube, and, and the moving, yeah, even though I don't use Twitter anymore, but that was last year when it happened, and the movie that I'm going to be doing is Phil Nibelink's Puss in Boots from 1999. Now, the thing with this movie, I first heard about it, and it, I first remember hearing about it when I saw a random clip from the movie on Twitter back then, probably before Elon Musk sabotaged it into X, and what I... Yeah, and the clip that I saw it was like, Why won't you marry me? Why won't you marry me? Why won't you marry me? That That is such a weird clip right there, and... <clears throat> yeah, and when I saw and when I saw the title of the movie in the comments, I looked it up on YouTube and and it was made of it and it was free. It was free to watch on YouTube because an, some account called the HF Archive uploaded it there and it's been on there for 3 years with no copyright strike. Yeah, the three years or something like that. I, I don't know how long it's going to be since it was uploaded. But what will I think of it? What will I think of it when I see the whole thing? It's going to be up to me to find out because I got the video. I got the movie right here on YouTube and now I'm going to start things off and put my headphones on. Now, what weirdness is going to come from this movie when I actually watch it? We'll see. We'll find out. So, starting Phil Nibbling's Puss in Boots in 3, 2, 1, begin. Phil Nibbling Productions. Now, th this is a direct to video movie, I assume. Judge Reinhold. Vivian Schilling Kevin Dorsey Dan Haggerty and Michael York as Puss Sounds like a nightmare or something. Welcome to a kingdom far, far away. Well, at least this animation looks a lot better than many of many flash animated preschool cartoons nowadays.
The backgrounds look like a Philip CDI Zelda game. Why are you why are you standing there like that? You you don't even move much. We get it. You can sing, you can talk. This animation looks so weird. Sometimes the mouths don't even sync up correctly. Why does that boy remind me of Disney's Aladdin? In terms of designs, that is. Well, you could have gotten out of the way. You could have been hit by the carriage. What? Storm cloud, a dragon. My God, 
the people are all... Uh, like, they're just static... They're just static running like that. Uh, that looks so weird. Ogre? He's a dragon, not an ogre. So it's, so it's a shape-shifting ogre. He transformed himself into a dragon. The ogre fall in love with the princess. And keep in mind, this came two years before Shrek came out. Yeah, and and then Puss in Boots made his he, then Puss in Boots, the DreamWorks version made his first appearance in the sequel Shrek Two. That acting, though, fr from the king. A three-headed dragon? As I was saying, that acting by, by whoever voiced the king, it was... It, that, it was... That acting is just too bland. The ogre with horns and a pig snout? So that's the ogre. Whoa. That wasn't even a great... That, that wasn't even a great scream. Is that... Is that... Oh. <laughs> Uh, that looks... <laughs> this is an out of context moment. This is the very moment I found on Twitter. A song? Yeah, this song is just too over the top. Uh, 
That's police siren? Yeah. That was our place. Oof. Well, don't stand near the drawbridge then. Well, at least I can tell that the guy who's playing the ogre is having a bit of a fun time. That flower? I swear this is paper cut animation mixed with C mixed with CG effects, but in a way that is unlike any stuff that in a way that isn't anything like South Park or something like that. Looks like the ogre's blasting off again!
you know, the coachman really reminds me of that milk of that arrogant milkman from the Aristocats. You know, the guy who says chocolate blur when oh when Thomas O'Malley lands in front of of his truck. Cause the milkman hates cats. Buy him some boots. Well, I forgot. Since when did did puss talk talk so anyone into um get getting him boots? Like it's it's not. I don't know if it's like Puss even mentioned wanting to be a hero by the time that by the time they sent the ogre off flying. Zeke and Zack are in the stocks? Those bugs... <laughs> and that music... It, so it sounded like... It, it sounded like it would be right at home in a sitcom. And those bunnies, why are those bunnies bouncing still like that? Yeah, and of course, Puss in this movie has a British accent. Puss in the Shrek movies has a Spanish accent because of to Antonio Banderas. Though, Puss's voice in this movie also kind of reminds me of Toucan Sam.
The king is lying. It's not the ogre. It's just... It's just Puss and, and the boy. Gunther, his name. Thank you. <laughs> that jester and he's a stand-up comedian <laughs> Or not. That rock number, though. Marquis of Carabas? That was kind of fun. The ogre is back! How rude indeed. Yeah, go after the ogre, puss.
Uh, you think? Well, you know the Marquis of Carabas is isn't real. So the oh no, not the king. Sacre bleu! Sapristi! Yeah, c that's why they put a tree in front of him. Because this is supposed to be for kids. That's, that's just Gunther in disguise. How long is she going to keep saying that? I, I swear, this movie looks like it's trying to... Be a knockoff of Disney. In fact, it's trying a little too hard to to look like Disney in terms of character designs. Like that, the coachman is already a look-alike, a, a, a rip-off of the Milkman from the Aristocats, and Gunther already looks like Aladdin. But, not, a, but one thing's for sure, not, not everything has to try to re be like Disney. Now, this is this isn't this isn't an insult to the animation, though. It, it it's just it's just some of the designs look a little uncanny in terms of resembling Disney and stuff like that. By the way. 
you you're Gunther just playing with your wig and all that you literally lied to her about being the marquee of uh, the marquee I swear, this this is trying a lot to be like Disney's Aladdin. It's it's basically Disney's Aladdin with push and boots. That don't play dumb. It, you you lied to her. Um... What the... What? He's super... Pushing Boots is Superman? <laughs> Look up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! No, it's pushing boots. <laughs> it's literally he's literally flying Superman style and now he's snowboarding. <laughs> I have no idea what is going on in this movie. <laughs> I need a sip. And why are the those dogs are going after Puss? Cause he's of course he's a cat, and most dogs hate cats. They they really went all in with the with the spy parody, didn't they? Well, good job. Good job. <laughs> The scary forest. Uh, don't lie. It's the road to the ogre's palace. 
Don't you dare lie to them. Yep, he's lying. I'm not going to forgive you for that. The king dead? Go on, say it. Push? Push too? Don't lie. Don't lie. Why are, why are they ball and chain prisoners? Right. Um, no, it's, it's, it's not the ogre in disguise. It's the, wait. That, hopefully that's the real puss in boots, because if that's the ogre in, if that's the ogre by, by shape-shifting into puss, then, oh boy, things are not looking good. On fire? A hungry vulture. Stop lying! <laughs> what? Why do you keep lying? Oh no! Shapristi! Chocolate blue! Say it! Say it! K 
Carabas. Say, say it, say it. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Thank you for saying that! This field belongs to the Marquis of Carabas! <sighs> oh my god. Ride of the Valkyries, cause push is flying. It's a bird! It's a plane! It's a cat! It's the ogre in disguise, I hope, I hope not. Let's just say it is the real push and boots. Um, well, are you going to look at them? Yeah, what's that white cat? It looks a lot like Duchess. And let's say Puss is Thomas O'Malley in a Puss in Boots outfit. So, not only... So, we got Aladdin and we got the Aristocats... Both in one movie with a Puss in Boots skin on it. So yeah, it, this is the real Puss in Boots. Yep, the real deal. You dare bring yawning to my lair? You must die!
just ate it up. William Tell Overture. You lied! Liar! You're a liar! Chakra blue! What? Uh-oh. This is this an alien situation again? No. Join me, puss, and I will make your face the greatest in this kingdom, or else you will die. So, there's like, ten and a half minutes of this insanity left.
Or Duchess, you mean? That's literally Duchess. And here we have the wedding scene. Well... <laughs> now you can join me, Puss, and then I will make your face the greatest in this kingdom. Or else you will die. His singing does he uh, his singing doesn't even sync with the music or the beat. The uh, po fire truck or police sirens again? A train? Newspaper, newspapers, they, they didn't even exist during the time period that this is set in. Watch out, he's gonna blow! There he goes!
Like, the, again, the coachman he, he isn't even hiding that he looks a lot like the milkman from the Aristocats. And that's the end. And they're displaying the actors in recording their lines. Or just filming themselves in front of the camera alongside their characters. Ah. <laughs> Man! My God! That was such a, a crazy experience. I, I don't even know what happened throughout the movie. Like, like all of those random r movie references and all is like. I I can't even think of some um, um thing. I can't even think of words to describe it. Like, th like this predates DreamWorks, but in such a bizarre, weird, insane way that I, that is so unimaginable, and and that and the animation it got pretty wonky too, like. This, this is such a weird movie. Yeah. I need to process what I just watched. Like, holy. Like, if, if I'm, yeah. I need, if I'm going to process all this, then, um, I'm, I'm going to need to watch the DreamWorks Shrek and Puss in Boots movies again, because... All I can say about this is... What the frog did I just watch?